Hello, in this video we're going to look at a solution to this Java coding map problem in Arrays 2 called SUM67. Um, we're going to return the sum of the numbers in the array except ignoring sections of numbers starting with 6 and extending to the next 7. Um, every 6 we follow by at least one 7, return 0 for no numbers. So, this first example we can see that there's no 6 and 7, so we simply just find the sum. And in this case, we can see that it returns a 5, so let's make sure we understand that. So I'm just going to add the 1, plus 2 is 3, plus 2 is 5, and then once we hit a 6, we're going to stop adding, stop adding, stop adding, and then when I see a 7, I begin adding again. Now in this case, there's nothing after the 7, so it doesn't matter. But let's look at the next example. 1 plus 1 is 2, and then I hit a 6, stop adding, I hit a 7, and then I start adding after that. So we see that 1 plus 1 is 2, ignore, ignore, plus 2 is 4, we're done. Now, this is the first, I'm going to do this in two, two ways. Um, the first way we're going to do this, in, in our second video we'll do it the second way, is we're going to use something called a flag. Um, I'm going to use a boolean flag. So I'm going to make a boolean flag and I'm going to set it to true. So what this does is, if this flag is true, we add the value. So all I'm going to do is, before I add to sum, I'm going to check that the flag is true. So I can declare an integer called sum, set it to zero, and I'm going to write a standard loop for finding the sum of elements in an array. So for int i equals zero, i is less than nums.length, i is equal to i plus one, and all I'm going to do is say if flag is equivalent to true, sum equals sum plus nums and i. And then I'm going to return some. Now this is only going to work for those situations where there's no six in the in the array at all. I'm sure enough, we see that in this case here. So what I need to do now is say, when ask myself, when do I want to change that flag to false, and when do I want to set it to true again? Well, notice what we want to do is we want to make the flag false as soon as we see a six. But the question now is, do we do that before or after the if statement? Noticing that a 6 is never included in the sum, this means I want to set this flag to false as soon as I see a 6. So I'm going to say if nums at i is equivalent to 6, we're going to set our flag to false. So notice what happens is we're going to say, are you a 6? No. Is flag true? Yep. Add. Are you a 6? No. Is flag true? Yes, add. Are you a 6? No. Is flag true? Yes, add. Are you a 6? Yes. Set flag to false. Is flag fa true? No. Don't add. And then it continues on. Now, I'm partway there because you'll notice what I've done is I've kind of accounted for situations where everything after the first 6 is ignored. But what I have to do is I have to set the flag back to true when I reach the 7. So if we look at this last example here, flag is true, flag is true, flag is false, flag becomes true again. And since the 7 isn't included in the sum, I'm going to do it after my summation. So if num at i is equivalent to 7, we're going to set our flag to true again. Oh, I spelled notes wrong. And there we go. This question highlights a really useful algorithmic technique, and that is using a flag to keep track of, of what you need to do. In our case, it's only one of two options. So we use a Boolean. But you could use an integer and have multiple states and just make a decision as you process your data. I hope this video helped. And in our next video, we'll look at a way to do this using two loops. Um, as some students did in class. Have a great day.